I assume that the question is about like technologies in Web3 and blockchain related products and so on. So uh, as we know, there have been tens of billions of dollars hacked from decentralized finance, from uh, uh, many other environments that are Web3 enabled. Well, something that we need to realize is that just like on the meme, uh, you know, like the Scooby-Doo meme where you lift the uh, the, what's covering the bad guy, you know, like the ghost. In this case, what's, what, what's under the sheet, it's Web2. <laughs> okay, because Web2 is serving Web3. All Web3 doesn't exist in a vacuum. All Web3 exists on top of Web2 and or Web1, right? So every device is a single point of failure to your infrastructure from a hacker's perspective, right? Every service, every process, every open port, everything that hasn't been patched, every misstep that you, that you took from a best practice perspective, right? Blockchain is extremely you know, resilient from a cryptographic perspective, right? So most of the hacks that you see are actually not Web3 related, unless you're talking about like, you know, uh, uh, exploiting a smart contract, which is just exploiting code, right? Everything else, it's leveraging Web2 to damage a Web3 infrastructure. In other words, you, what we do is we come in and we make your Web2 infrastructure a decentralized infrastructure. 